clothes. But uh, this is our first Andrew Field of Corvettes pantry. So we've got everybody out here today. We got Capital City Corvette Club is in the house today. Yeah. Give us some little love, y'all. Thank y'all so much for organizing this. And uh, you guys didn't have to do it, but you did. So I say thank you. Appreciate you guys. You're welcome. Yes. My pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, they did. They Next level is in the house. Next level, y'all didn't have to do this, but you did. I say thank you, man. Oh, no problem. Man. And uh, what y'all, y'all, y'all got anything coming up? Um, actually, we got an event um at the, at the Ten Can West um for all cars. This one to be our last show, October eighth. Um, come on out and show some support. You know, we get heavily back to the community. Yes, you do. And, and anything we can do to help, just give us a yell, and we'll try our best to make things work. Right. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. You got the two godfathers of Corvettes here, Griff and Irv. These two brothers right here have been driving Corvettes for years. Griff, what, what year is your car right this here? Is a, this is the 2016. This is 2016, I, never I, seen I've been, dirt. I've been driving Corvettes ever since I was 21 years old. This is the third Corvette I done had. This is the third one. First one was a 1972. I have a 2006, and now this is a 2016. 2016. How many miles them, you got on? This one here don't have, but uh, just turned over 10,000 miles. So it's still just you like drive it, You drive to the edge of the driveway and back. That's how far they go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all see, y'all know Irv. We, he's been on the channel right here. This is his beast of an automobile right here. My God. This is a, this is a beast. Look at this piece. I got to get my sunglasses because your wheels and tires is just... You're blinding me, man. This our new friend Maurice. He got the... They got the Z06s. The twin Z06s. Man, I just... <laughs> Thank you guys so much once again for all that you've done. This is what I need you to do. Like, subscribe, and click that bell notification to be notified whenever I produce a new video. I am just so honored, so humbled that you guys will come out so strong. Thank you. This is the aftermath. You see all the cars in the parking lot. You've seen the interviews, but this is what it was all about. Filling the Corvettes with pantry items. We thank you so much for doing this and as you can see so many different pantry items people even got creative capital city corvette club got so creative and said hey um, people that are in need they need some other things they need some toiletry items and so they brought those as well you can see so many different uh, meals that will be given out to the families the pantry is open every first saturday uh, depending upon if there is some sort of holiday but most of the time the pantry is open the first Saturday and it's first come first serve, they will prepare. We usually feed about 50 families. They'll fill these baskets up with food items. And then once those baskets are gone, they're gone. And then we'll meet them again here uh, at, the, um, uh, at the pantry on that next month. So. I just want to say to all of my Corvette crews and family, I want to say thank you to Capital City Corvette Club. They were the ones that spearheaded this. Their president, Kyle Phelps. Thank you so much, Kyle, for spearheading this. Then we had Next Level Corvette uh, Club. They came out strong. Vet Life came out strong. Man, so many of you guys just saw fit to say, you know what, we're going to go out and we're going to help out Corvette crews. And, uh, I, you know, I do these videos and stuff because I love Corvettes, but you know, my, my daily passion is, uh, is the church house and my daily passion is helping people like subscribe, click that bell notification to be notified whenever I produce a new video. Enjoy the ride. Okay, fam, everything is winding down now. Didn't get a chance to get a whole lot of, um, footage out here today uh but I, I i just got so uh so overwhelmed with the generosity of the corvettes coming out uh filling the pantry i'll give you guys a shot of that in just a second here but uh just just the generosity of everybody coming out and stuff and and my my friends uh you know ricky the, the withers uh they're here today so i'm just i'm just i'm full you guys and sorry i don't have a whole lot of words today uh, but uh, just enjoy the interview. 
Hey, what's up, Corvette Cruiser fam? Man, I got my friend, man, uh, Irving here. And uh, Irving is a veteran Corvette guy. And I just want to talk to him about his car. He's got the, got the Z06. What year is it? 2015. Got a 2015 Z06. And uh, talk to us, man. How many, how many cars is this for you? Uh, this is my fourth Corvette. Okay. And uh, this has been blessed. I kept my first Corvette, which is a C4. Uh-huh. And uh, after that, I got my first C5 Z06. And then went to uh, Ryan Fellows Z07, or Z06 uh, C6. Mm -hmm. And then I was blessed to get this uh, C7 Z06. I, I think that one you said you said the uh, the first one. Yeah. Was that the one that you used to put all your um, equipment in? You could get all your audio equipment, your keyboard, and everything in that car. Was I, that the some one? Of it, some of it was in there when I, when I would go play. <laughs> I would pile it in there. You pile it in there, man. Whatever I could get in there. I could not believe. I said, man, how you how you getting all that equipment in there? You said, don't worry about it. It's going. It's going in there. It's going in there. So how you like this car? How many miles you got on it? Uh, 18,000. 18,000. 2015, so keep, keeping it down. You ever put it on the road? Oh, Any yeah. Any road trips? Yes. Yeah, I go down to see my son, Irvin, yeah. in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Westerville, yeah. Big, big Corvette guy himself. Yes, sir. Just real quick, man, tell us about the brakes that's on this car. Uh, they're carbon ceramic brakes, uh, part of the Z07 package, and they're massive rotors, and when you step on that, on the brake, it you're gonna stop. So, yeah. So. But you said something about no brake dust. There is no brake dust on the carbon ceramic brakes. Yeah. And that's that's a blessing because some of most of the guys that I know that have regular brakes, uh, brake dust is a it's an issue. It's an so. issue. Yeah. Well, you got you 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 are, you know. I, I told you, man. We were years ago. Years ago, we we're downtown Lansing. And, he had brought uh, one of his cars out. I'm not sure if it was this one or not, but he had brought one of his cars out and it was just, it was, everybody was stopping by there to see that car. I think it was when they, when they went to this model, was it that, was, was when it went to? Uh, I think it was 2015. The 2015, yeah, you had brought that out there and everybody. So that was just, just awesome, man. So, hey, listen, thank you, man. I appreciate you watching the channel yes. and, I'm, and I'm glad now that you're on the channel. Yeah. So now we gotta get your son on the channel. All right. All right, man. Boy, I'm just so honored that, that Irving was here uh, with his Z06. He's got a beautiful uh, car out there. and and But I just want to thank you, Irving, for all your support, all your help. Uh, you are the king. I call you the godfather of Corvettes. Irving had Corvettes, you guys, when, when we were still in our starter cars. And so, um, you know, thanks for coming out and sharing. And then also, Griff, thank you so much for coming out and telling us your story. So again, thank you so much for all the giving. Still have a few backpacks left. So if you are coming to the pantry, uh, just talk to uh, the staff and tell them your child uh, needs a backpack. Still have a few of those left. And uh, just an awesome display of generosity. I wanna send a shout out right now to all of our pantry staff. Thank you guys so much for all that you do, for volunteering for this mission to help this community. As you know, we had a power outage for several days. People lost a lot of items. And so these pantry items are very important to people. So if you were fortunate enough not to lose any items, then hey, be a blessing onto somebody else and give back. These people gave back and I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the Antioch Church family because they were not outdone. They said, hey, uh, the Corvettes are coming and they're filling the Corvettes with, with canned good items, with non-perishable items. We will not be outdone. And so they're, they're included in this as well. So thank you so much, Antioch Church. If you would like to make a donation, Antioch Cares, Community Development Corporation. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and click that bell notification to be notified whenever I produce a new video. Season's coming to an end. What a way, what a way to conclude the season with giving to help somebody else. Now we can put our cars away this winter and know 
that we just didn't drive around and look cool, but we helped somebody along the way. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the ride.